Welcome to Overdrive AF, the official podcast of Overdrive Fitness. My name is Teddy Gerzon, and I'm joined by Gina Marie Gerzon. Happy 2021. Happy 2021. As always with us, Destroyer, bringing in that BDE, that big Destroyer energy. <laughs> Way to ring in the new year. Titan and Brajol are here with us. No cats on camera unless uh, Derek Jeter is in the view somehow. But no, he's not, right? He's right over there. Yeah. Um, he's by Desi's jacket, the kind of. Crew. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're the production assistants. He's bowing. <laughs> I know uh, Drifter and Abracadabra are somewhere in the office. Swagger on your chair? No, Swagger didn't come Swagger in this morning. Swagger is not in this morning. But we do have Panther and Macy Gray in attendance. They're out in the crowd. They're the filtered applause. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, first podcast of the new year, am I correct? Yeah. Sweet. It's 30 degrees and sunny in New York. And windy. Very windy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we're already off to a great start for the new year in, uh, at Overdrive, so cannot complain. You know, we picked our right up picked up where we left off in december uh places bumping with weekday weekday warriors and athletes all working hard to achieve their goals right so uh this week actually before we even jump in we can't start the new year off without a weekly update from uh destroyer Mm -hmm. on not only as usual an update on his uh jump shot and um on perfecting his jump shot and mileage covered but as some of you have realized you know we've also been covering weekly his uh transformation so why don't you update us on the three-headed monster yeah so i mean jump shot in terms of real life is taking a break because it's frigid out Mm -hmm. and my hands don't do well like that but uh virtually i've been kicking aiden's ass in 2k so nice there you go that that's some mental preparation there you go nice the mind game game. we need that Yeah. yeah Um, mileage, I worked in an extra day of running this week, so I got in 18 miles. Nice. Wow. Solid. And uh, the transformation, I had a really good weigh-in on, oh, man. on Monday. I think I, I had Which... fallen off a little bit post-Christmas. I didn't want to yeah. ruin the party, so I, I indulged myself a bit, but, but tried does to get he... right back on track. Yeah. It and, it's called living your life. Yeah. So, so I dropped like a pound, went back up to where I was at with a uh, muscle mass, and I think, yeah, dropped a percent of body fat mm-hmm. again. So. so we're gonna let's pull you up real quick and see where you are. So yeah, I mean, so from like our initial weigh-in, like when we met, yeah. and we decided we were gonna like you decided, okay, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, in total, a three-pound loss, but okay. So we're not right. That's just a tool. We're just using that as a tool. Body fat is down almost three and a half, three and a half percent. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you say so? Three and a half percent. Excellent. Yeah. And lean mass continues to 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 rise. So we're up three pounds in lean mass. Um, here, let's bring it back. Just. I'm sorry. Going this and then Thank going you. There. Thank you. I need my LBM right. Oh. You did that. Help me out here, Teddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your fat mass is down six pounds. I mean, my God. Yeah. And what whatever little bit you've lost mm. in weight. I would say that's ma- but but your your skeletal muscle mass has far exceeded. So any little bit that you've lost, you've obviously gained so much more in skeletal muscle mass. And this is all with at-home workouts. Yeah. Everything's been remote. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been cool kind of like improving like feeling the improvements in how I'm doing with the workouts and my runs being more consistent and yeah. then also every week just like figuring out what stuff I like that I realize I have room for in my absolutely like diet plan. And at this point too, you've got to notice a difference in your physique. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. And like, even in the workouts, do you feel different, like more explosive, um, faster on your runs, lighter on your feet? Yeah, for sure. Like I that mean, kind of thing? I've, especially like during like tennis in high school, I was always known for being like heavy footed. Okay. And that, I could always feel that in my runs, but now it definitely feels, I wouldn't say like effortless because they're long distance, but it's mm -hmm. definitely less taxing on like my feet and my joints. That's a big deal. Yeah right and every little bit of weight body fat that we lose right our joints get that much more of a break yeah right which is a big deal yeah and it's by far the healthiest i've ever felt and probably have ever looked that is amazing 2021 yeah. bringing it in with a bang <laughs> it's awesome. awesome i love it um, oh, you're doing great desi yeah, fucking crushing it. I mean, everyone sees it, so that's great, too. Uh, and you feel great, too, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So the how... I was concerned are my parents. My mom has that very, like, motherly thing of, like, you look too skinny, eat a oh. sandwich kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but she's I, not I noticing. I continually try to explain. I've, I've never flexed on my mom to this point. <laughs> I think my, it might Maybe be time. Maybe I need to start doing that, yeah. You should be like, Mom, like hold hold my shirt for me. <laughs> Can you take back yeah. pose? Get the get this angle, yeah. right? This lighting. Yeah, make sure just... you see the triceps. <laughs> Side profile. Yeah. So you have a full understanding. <laughs> you see those striations? Yeah, maybe it's time. <laughs> I love it. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, so how much longer do you think to, you're averaging, you know, four minutes on your miles in the marathon? <laughs> I mean, I I think once it gets warmer, then I'm really going to notice the difference with the runs. I mean, right now I'm, like, mm -hmm. layered up with, mm -hmm. like, two sweaters and, like, a, a fleece on running around. Mm -hmm. So I think there's something to that. And then when it, and obviously it's harder to breathe in cold air. Yeah. But I think that once it gets like a little warmer into spring then i'm going to be able to really cut down on the actual time of it because this is the first time i've actually been timing my runs mm -hmm. so i have an average of like 56 55 minutes per six mile run mm -hmm. hoping wow. maybe i can like knock that down to like you know around 50 at some point in the summer it'll all come together because yeah. like even with temperature changes and um, when people have to work, like they're trying to train outside. So whether it's outside in the extreme, so whether it's hot, cold, humid, whatever, it takes several weeks, Yeah. you know, sometimes multiple months for people to acclimate. Your body has to work harder, but it's only to your benefit. Yeah. You know, because you become more con that much more conditioned. Yeah. So you're doing yourself, this is a good thing, you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to make myself able to beat my friend who's a D1 track runner at UConn in a race. So All right. That's motivation yeah. right there. Have you heard of Tanya Harding? Yeah. No, nah, I'm kidding. Don't you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, that's always an option. Yeah, it's it's never not an option. <laughs> so you're like a turbo engine, right? So, you know, you perform best in the right climate. Yeah. All right, cool. Nice. <laughs> Desi's not the violent type, you know. He's very Buddha. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather work to the point where I can do it naturally. You will. It's a it's a very like LeBron Jordan thing. Right? Yeah, but I'm always chasing that. I that mean, dragon. he it, he may be in pain from it, but it's not like he loses his leg. Like Nancy Garrigan was still able to to skate afterwards. Yeah, she's she's fine. Yeah, she, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, sack up. I mean, maybe not emotionally after I beat him in a race, but yeah, that's a, that's the goal though. Yeah, yeah. And you console him after, yeah, you know. Exactly. It's like. Yeah. But, you know, it was, it was, it was time coming. I mean, yeah. the end was near. You yeah. can't, can't be on top forever. <laughs> no. Seriously. You got to get him to regain that hunger again. Yeah. It's all motivation. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this week's topic, right? Hit us with that again. Accountability going into the new year. Accountability going into the new year. So, like, how could one keep themselves accountable so they can stay on track and hit their goals like what are some things that come to mind for you you're you're well, i'm going first well yes. um i think for us what we 
I, I feel like we're really good at um, laying out the habits for all of our members in our OverDrive app. And we're so good with the accountability because it layers those habits um, for the, the members and the athletes um, dependent upon uh, their specific goals. Um, so for, for me, I think the first thing is um, bringing, always bringing it back to OverDrive is getting, creating that healthy and positive social support system. So maybe you have a few of the ladies or gentlemen or a few of both that, you know what, let's meet up at 6 o'clock and get our weekday warrior um, strength session in. Um, or maybe we could meet at Rockland Lake um, this weekend and, you know, walk the lake or run the lake or let's set a time frame. Let's meet at 8 a.m. and we'll go out to breakfast after to our favorite healthy breakfast spot. And, um, you know, creating that very important social support system. Um, when people have those similar goals in mind, you guys are creating um, and, you know, laying those habits down for each other, setting the alarm, setting five alarms if you need to, to get up for that 5.15 a.m. weekday warrior strength class. Or even for our athletes, too, we have, you know, how many of them within the confines of the regulations, they're all meeting here at, say, 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. for their strength class. And then they go to run together after or whatever. You know what I mean? So, like, that's that that really healthy social support system. Um, you know, oh, I'm running to the, the grocery store. I'm going to go to Stop and Shop um, at 4.30 before I pick the kids up from wherever. You want to meet me there? Let's, let's get our grocery list set. You know, I'm, I'm making this, this, and this for the week. You know, like just creating that social support system and sharing ideas with each other. You know, I made this delicious lemon chicken and I found it on Pinterest and it's, um, you know, a healthier calorie recipe. It fits in my macros or my hand portions or whatever um, we've given to our clients and our athletes. And again, always bringing it back to our OverDrive app and um, the, the OverDrive method that, um, we, you know, we lay that foundation for them in their OverDrive app. So what's their goal? Uh, um, what habits are they following? How many times a week are they coming in? And everything's always there laid out for them. You know, so creating that really healthy support system. I think it's important to create that support system not only like within your peers at the gym or your friends, but definitely within your home with your family, right? Because uh, oftentimes that's we'll see that happen a lot actually with uh, with people that come in. They they have their own personal goals, but as soon as they go home, there's always something there, someone there to to derail them, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I guess. Find a happy medium with your spouse or significant other so that, you know, sometimes people don't want to see you succeed. And they may not say it, but, you know, if uh, they may feel that you're, they may they may skinny shame you if that's even like a word or a term, but we do see it happen, right? So, you know, someone may try to lose weight and then their spouse or your significant other may be like, you're getting too skinny. Meanwhile, it's like they're not getting too skinny. They're still 30 pounds away. They may have lost 20 pounds. They're still 30 pounds away from a healthy weight. We're not even saying lean. We're just saying like a healthy weight for their own organs, right, and their own like physical and mental health. But you'll hear the spouse or significant other just try to tear them down because they, now they're upset that the other one is doing something about it and they're just too lazy to do something about it with them, right? So instead of like, yes, we want you to be successful, but maybe you – the harder work might be trying to find a way to uh, get everybody involved. And we're not saying like now everyone in the house, including your children, have to eat steamed vegetables all the time. Like, But maybe just like for everyone's sake, right? Because we are still in an obesity epidemic globally. Maybe for everyone's sake, we try to create a healthier lifestyle. So if that means like cutting down fast food to three times a week instead of 12, you know, um, I don't know, but uh, I think for accountability's sake too, which like create it within your within your own home, because um, I mean, we we see it way too often in here. Like someone be yeah. off to a great start, and their own family derails them. I, they, uh, wherever that social support system is gonna, unfortunately, with with 
with spouses or partners or, or within a family unit sometimes, there's other people that just aren't ready to take the plunge or, you know, take that next step forward. And, you know, whatever their goals are, okay, well, my doctor said I need to lose 20 pounds or, you know, my triglycerides are through the roof or, you know, I really want to get off my blood pressure medication, my knees are really killing me, that kind of thing. Um, you know, I'm not sleeping well. Sometimes if we create whatever that support system is, so if it's not your spouse and your family, hopefully at some point when it's your friends or your coworkers or or maybe it's a maybe it's more of a distant relative and it's it's more zoom related and it's you know and you guys are texting and zooming each other and maybe doing zoom workouts together or whatever the case on the overdrive app say for instance at, hopefully at some point you can positively influence those family members around you so sometimes that's actually what has held you back for so long is your family and your or, or your spouse and your family and at at some point they'll jump on the bandwagon and join you in the party. And hopefully they, they start to become part of your positive influence and a part of your, your positive um, gathering, that social network of, of positivity that you need, that accountability. Um, so that's why wherever you're gonna find it, just find that, that, that healthy pack of people. <laughs> Other things to keep yourself accountable. I mean, we touched on this last year about this time, talking about uh, establishing good habits, you know, not just setting goals, but establishing good habits so you can achieve those goals. Um, and Destroy will link that out in the show notes to that episode. But, you know, the, the title of that episode was uh, Fuck Your Goals, Change Your Habits, right? And, um, you know, just setting, setting daily habits that are easy to to get done you know and like that's part of like doing the boring work but you know if it means you know hydrating properly every day you know drinking like half your body weight in ounces right or um i don't know there's there's so many going i mean you're gonna brush your teeth every day right so might as well have easy things there that that'll keep you accountable or maybe setting habit to make sure that you actually do eat green leafy veggies right And, and i'm just starting to list things that we set for people like examples of habits that we set for people um and not everyone needs all these but you'd believe you wouldn't believe how many people do actually need to hear stuff like this you know like you know making making sure you get all your vegetables making sure you do drink enough water Mm -hmm. making sure you don't over caffeinate right that's another one some people will do that because you know it's funny how many people will over caffeinate because they need the energy but they will refuse to eat carbs it's like, okay, so carbs are great for you. Over-caffeinating will destroy your central nervous system and then lead to you breaking down physically and mentally, which could take a month to fully recover from that. But, you know, carbs are bad, right? Mm-hmm. So it's just hysterical. that Balance. You know. Try to find balance within what works for you. Um. Yeah, let's repeat that. Find balance within what works for you. Doesn't mean everything's equal just means what will be balanced in a way that you can function on a normal basis Mm -hmm. what makes you feel good so if you know if you really enjoy having that cup of coffee in the middle of the day then there's actually a lot of benefits to caffeine or tea or maybe if it's if it's a caffeinated some sort of a caffeinated drink or or whatever the case but um we need to find balance you know doesn't necessarily mean that we have to carry around our gallon jug of water and make sure that we (laughs) fill it and fill it and fill it um but you know are you getting your hydration from almond milk or dairy milk or um if you're having some unsweetened tea or even if you do have a cup of coffee or if you put you know uh some sparkling water with lemon or whatever the case maybe you carry around a bottle of pellegrino with you and you enjoy it like whatever that's going to be just balance it out What else could we do? I'm trying to think without giving away the whole house here, but you know, what else can some like, as, like at least as, what I mean is like without telling everybody all the habits that we establish with people. But um, it just totally slipped my mind. What else can people do to keep themselves accountable? Setting alarms on your phone, um, 
maybe having like a weekly powwow with with uh, your group or your family or um, keeping yourself accountable. What about like a healthy dinner night with your family? I know it's hard now, 2021, even though people are working more from home, um, you know, kids have their ways of eating, adults have their ways of eating. Maybe, you know, uh, kids might, sometimes with kids maybe, you know, a carton full of blueberries is their dinner one night just because that's what they want to eat or, you know, some potato chips or whatever the case. And mom's already made, you know, uh, pasta bolognese with, you know, a delicious salad on the side and, and they don't want it. But maybe once a week, you know, decide as a family what's, what's a fun dinner that we can do together maybe, like build your own taco night or like, uh, you know, um, you know, like uh, make your own salad, like build a salad or something like that. You know, I don't know, like make it fun. Keeping yourself accountable and the kids could do whatever. Like if the kids want to have, uh, you know, double cheese on their pizza or whatever, then maybe that's what you do. And, you know, maybe if you want to throw some, if, if you end up finding, okay, let's make, a, make your own pizza night. And maybe, you know what, I'm going to, I'll, I'll heat up the sauce and I'm going to put extra veggies on mine because I want to make sure that I'm getting my veggies in. And I can't have dairy because dairy bothers me, so I'm going to use like a nut cheese or, or whatever, like whatever it is. Or, uh, okay, I know my husband likes chicken. I'll, I'll put some grilled chicken on his with, I'll sprinkle a little bacon on it because he likes it because it fits his macros and it's following all of his numbers in his ODF. Whatever Gina and Teddy gave him, he's still hitting it. It. He's getting in his fat, his carbs, whatever the case. But it's still our family night, and we're eating healthy. And we're coming together. We're, we're sitting at the dinner table, and we're communing, which we don't get to do all the time, which that in itself is very healthy, communicating with each other. That's a big deal. Like, and all this that we're talking about, I mean, it all ties into – it all comes back to what we do here at Overdrive. So, uh, I mean, if you want really the easiest way to find out how to hold yourself accountable, I mean, it's just join us, right? Whether it be in person or remote, and we have people locally doing either one of those, all right? And not even just people that are completely out of the area that can only work with us remote, right? So, I mean, if you want the easiest way to hold yourself accountable, all you gotta do is just join us at Overdrive, right? It's literally that simple. Because now, instead of worrying about what you can do to hold yourself accountable and set things up for yourself so that you know that you that you become successful um, by simply joining our community, and, you know all the guessing is out, all the guesswork is out, right? All the thinking is out. You don't have to stress about setting obje uh, objectives that you can cover uh, every day so that you become successful we do all that for you right mm -hmm. you literally all all you have to do is literally just open your eyes every day get up get out of bed show up to work out and then eat you know and sleep and hydrate like we'll we'll help you figure out what to eat when to eat how much to drink you know things that you can check off every day all the boring work so that you become successful i mean that's what we do right can you figure it out on your own yeah but let's face it how many of you out there approach this time of year say you're going to do it you haven't done it for 51 weeks out of the year right but that's because you don't know what to do and there's nothing wrong with that right but when you join us at overdrive we'll do all that for you and all you got to do is just basically Make sure your heart's still beating every day. We'll help you with everything else. And boom, successful. That's it. I mean. Everything is there whether you're remote or in person. I think as long as you make the commitment, so you yourself have to make the commitment. You have to make the choice. Well, we, we deliver that accountability. You have a wonderful community of people, again, whether you're remote or whether you're in person because everything um, is set on your app. I love the fact that everybody checks in, they check off, um, they rate the workouts, right? Mm -hmm. Whether they're in person or they're remote. Everybody can see that, that who's checked in, 
um, whether it's a, like our conditioning workouts or our strength workouts. You, you have a wonderful community of people on the app and in person. So you get to see, oh man, yesterday's workout was rough, right? How'd you do? This, that, and the other thing. You can communicate with us back and forth um, every day if you'd like. Um, and we get back to you as soon as we can through your OverDrive app, your personal OverDrive app. And that message always comes through to us. It could be nutrition questions. It could be strength-related questions. It could be, why am I not sleeping? It could be, when is the next um, podcast coming out? You know, all of those things. Um, even with our athletes, too. What's the workout for tomorrow? You see it. I didn't get my workout. There's, you know, it's like the community is there. The accountability is there. Um, and it comes from all different ends. It's nutrition. It's training. Um, and it's the social aspect. So regardless of if it's remote or in person. So the accountability is definitely there. It kind of hits you from all different angles. Um, I think that's where, I mean, so many of our members and athletes have been so successful. Like, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So it's this simple. You want to find a way to hold yourself accountable in the easiest form, just head on over to overdrivefitnessny.com. All right. Uh, if you fill out the form to join our six-week kickstart transformation program under the Weekday Warrior tab, okay, uh, join our Weekday Warrior program. We'll help you start crushing the, this new year, right? Obviously, you not only leave the holiday weight gain in the past, but the whole year of 2020, all right? We'll help you get off to a great start, lose the weight that you're looking to lose so that when the sun comes back up with the warm weather, um, restrictions are starting to be lifted and we can get some back to some sort of normal decency in public uh, you're more than physically and mentally ready because we helped you get there at overdrive right mm -hmm. uh, it's literally that simple um, in the show notes of this episode will be a review or basically a replay of uh, a po podcast that we covered a lot of great ways in establishing great habits so that you can can become successful and um, yeah, I mean, it's, that's all you gotta do. You literally just join us and everything else will be fun right after that. Um, but not like in a foo-foo way where like, we're like, you know, um, fucking like some namaste bullshit and like, oh, everyone's a fucking their own unique snowflake and mm. we're all gonna lose weight just by thinking about it and putting it out there. Like, no, we're gonna help you work hard, but um, make you laugh so you don't even know that you're going through some sort of pain and you'll embrace the soreness. So, the, you know, it's different. But we won't do it in a way that, you know, we're calling you a see you next Tuesday while you want to die in, a, in the middle of, like, a squat. So, um, and I'm not making that up. There are apparently places out there that they will do that to their members. They berate you yeah. and, and psychologically damage you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, what's weight loss without some psychological damage? Am I right? No more squats. What is, uh, where am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so, sleeping. Uh, what happened? Yeah, anything else to add to any of that? No, I am I think that covered a lot. Hey, I mean, like, we're an ever-growing community of people look, coming in to look, looking to lose weight, I and mean, we just had somebody just walk in and join us this morning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, oh, they came in just looking to – they had a quick question, what do you do? Next thing you know, they joined our six-week quick start transformation. So uh, this gentleman, this fine gentleman, will be starting his journey with us on Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's, let's see what happens. So if you're interested, I mean, you'll see right on the website, we are limited to how many more people we can have join us. If you want to do this all remote, that's fine. But, you know, we can only take so many people in person, let alone, uh, because, like, I mean, hey, it, with the amount of with what people want to achieve we can only take so many in general right mm -hmm. we can only give out so much of our energy to help people get there but with that being said since we have limited space um definitely hit us up with the with this new person joining us the website says five right now we're only down to we can only take four new people mm -hmm. right so and i think I'd, i i don't want people to feel like it's just limited to losing weight and losing body fat and those are all wonderful things, but I think um, if, the, if this is just going to be your stress relief and helping you to lower your blood pressure, um, therapy for you, 
uh, just allowing you to just uplift your mood for the hour. This is your time. Maybe, maybe it's important for you to be more social, regardless of if it's online or in person. Um, those are all really important things. Psychologically, um, it makes us feel better. Can helps us be better husbands or wives, parents, siblings, coworkers, whatever. It allows us to be in a better mood for a longer period of time. There's so many benefits to the training and the nutrition and the lifestyle changes. So it's not just about I want to fit into a bikini this summer or I want to get ripped or I need to fit into my size four pants or whatever the case. If those are goals and you know, you're know you willing to change your habits for that specific goal, then yeah, awesome. We can help you with that. But at the same time, if if we're focusing on changing our lifestyle habits for the long run and you know getting rid of getting off of our blood pressure medication or different cholesterol medications um, I want to you know I don't want to be so snippy to my husband all the time or you know I keep biting my kids heads off for every little thing or you know I I need to be able to sleep through the evening and wake up feeling refreshed these are all or you know what I just this is my meditation I feel I feel like exercise will help me to be more even keel throughout the day like just things like that so it's just what's going to allow you to be your best self yes. and we can help you with all of those things absolutely I think that that's what people need to understand is we are not just a gym we don't just give out nutrition advice we don't just put you through workouts we, we, we're the whole package we're, it's the big picture of seeing all aspects of what we do full circle that's what your 20, 2021 is going to look like if you choose to join us. But yes, to repeat myself, though, we do only have four spots left in the Kickstart transformation. Okay, so we can cover everything like that. But those of you that are serious about locking in, to, locking in your nutrition and your fitness all together and actually get coached, right, not just get some cookie cutter plan and like pray and we just pray that you, you succeed for that full on one on one coaching package there's only four spots so if you want one of those spots you let us know I was going to say five but we had someone walk in and snag one of those today so mm -hmm. um, yeah just hit us up you know how to hit us up on, on Twitter and Instagram at ODFitnessNY email us info at overdrivefitnessny.com um, and I think that's about it you can always um, or you can hit us up show up in person no don't do that because uh you know we we want to show respect to the people that are here we can't just you know in the middle of a class just drop everything and and, and help you but you know it's best to set a consultation so you can always uh, call us at 845-613-7262 and we'll take care of you yeah, all right time aside so uh that's all we have for you this week we'll catch you on another episode next week at the uh, Overdrive AF podcast.